I part two of conversions. I apologize that this is broken in two. Um, so you're going to have the point 0.901 um, ATM that we are converting to kilopascals. We put the ATM um, opposite sides of that fraction so they cancel. We'll end with 0.901 times 101.325 because they're both in the numerator. Um, and that would equal 91.29 and my unit is kilopascals. Okay, nice. Uh, let's do one more. Let's convert from, um, actually I wanna do two more. Let's go ATM to bar, ATM to bar. So if we have our point 0.901 ATM again. Um, okay, first you're thinking units. Get rid of the ATM. So it goes on the opposite side of the fraction, so it cancels, and we want to end with bar. We're gonna put that up top. Now I simply attach our numbers right here. So one ATM is equivalent to 1.01 bar. Really similar, super close. Um, and our answer when we multiply this is 0.91. Check out those units, ATM cancels, and we will end with bar. Okay, nice. Um, let's, for fun, go from millimeters of mercury to ATM. This is a common conversion, especially when you're doing the ideal gas law. You'll be given millimeters of mercury, but you have to have ATM. Um, so let's pretend that I have 802 millimeters of mercury. I need to use the ideal gas law, so I have to have my pressure in ATM. Um, so we'll put millimeters of mercury in the denominator, so they cancel. I want ATM. It goes in the numerator. Then we just attach our numbers. One ATM is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. So now, millimeters of mercury cancels. I'll be left with ATM. And what does this tell me to do? Remember, I try and think as little as possible. The units tell me when to multiply and divide. Because this is in the denominator, that 760, I'm going to do 802 divided by 760. And the answer on this is 1.06, 1 1.06 ATM. Um, and then you'd be good to go to use the um, to use the ideal gas law. If you didn't catch the first part of this, um, go to pressure conversion practice part one for about three other conversions. Okay, good work. Have a great day.